Hey! Hi there, I'm Alphonse and we are back with Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. See, this time I said it right. And what I'm going to do now is uh, show you, uh, as you can see, I'm doing a single save per episode as soon as I check that everything is okay. I save the game and make a new file, so in case the recording is not okay, either the voice recording or the recording in the capture device is not okay, um, we can re-record whatever I did. Okay, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were attacking the gun uh, grenade guy. Okay, I will need more space to run and dodge the grenades. Also, the grenades seems seem to be faster when they are approaching the middle of the of the stage. Fuck. Yeah. That is going to be a problem. Throw it. Ah, got you, asshole. It's not that funny, isn't it? Does he has iframes? No, he doesn't. Can I really defeat you in this in this room? Do, do I not have to go to the different room? Man, do you really suck at your job? I wonder why Big Boss hired all these useless pieces of crap. Man, they, they are really the worst kind of soldiers, both the boss battles and the and the soldiers in this game are not really challenging once you know how to defeat them. It's like, hey, it's a guy that kills people with grenades. Is is the door is open? Fuck! I forgot about the stupid floor trap. I could have died in there. Interesting. From floor 30... Oh, wait, wait, wait. 30 is written looking down, but up is written looking up. What the... What? That makes no sense. The 30 should be written on the other way. See, now this up makes sense. 31... Holy fuck, this is going to be a while. What? The door to the roof is painted shut to prevent trespassers. But it's jarry rigged, so you can probably blow it up pretty easily with plastic explosives. See ya! So, one thing I noticed on... Sorry if I yell too much. I will lower the volume if it is that way. Um, one thing I noticed on... Both on Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake and on Ace Combat 2 is that uh, they are the perfect copy to s call it something switch or timer. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, they are, uh, for example, Ace Combat 2. It's a lot similar, the, both on the story and the kind of missions you do. It's a lot similar to Ace Combat 4. And this game, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, is super similar to Metal Gear Solid 1. Both in boss battles and the uh, pacing of the game. Like, for example, blowing up the door, you do it on Metal Gear 1, on Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, it's a, a thing I found interesting, like, they had an idea and they tried to make that idea uh, work better on a, on a different settings with, with more resources. Is that a soldier or is that a dog or is that a kid? Let me use the binoculars to see because I don't want to... It is a drone? Oh, the pigeon. <laughs> it's a fucking drone. Yeah, Alphonse, it is a drone. 
So I looked for the for the codex of the different uh, characters in, in Metal Gear. Um, sorry if the phone is making noise on on the microphone. I will keep it as away as I can. I have the codex of Master Miller. And I think it is, let me see, because this text is absurdly small. Oh fuck. I lost it. Okay, I have it. So, the codec. 140.38. Oh, I... I'm fucking stupid? Yes, I'm probably fucking stupid. <laughs> you should wait 30 minutes after eating before uh, before playing games. The blood flow shifts to your stomach and your brain doesn't function as quickly. Uh, thank you, Miller. That That's when your attention level is at its lowest, so you should wait 30 minutes after eating before you start playing. Over and out. That was really useful, but I need your help with a stupid pigeon. Can can you help me now? This is Solid Snake, come in. The more you sweat, the less you will bleed. The more tears you shed, the fewer game overs you will get. Over and out. Miller, that is not useful. I, th I thought you were an expert in fucking animals. Uh... Maybe someone else? I know Jacobsen gives you info about uh, the boss battles. Do I have Jacobsen? No, because this is a new... Um, on the previous time I recorded uh, everything. When I was fighting um, Running Man, Jacobsen told me that Running Man was a, an Olympics uh, athlete at Barcelona and all that, and I think, um, I think Jacobsen might tell me something about this, I don't know, Solid Snake, come in, that's a good pigeon, especially trained to act as a carrier pigeon, did you know there are over 200,000 species of pigeons in the world? Well, I was talking about pigeons the other day when I was playing the tree become human, and I was wondering how different are American pigeons from European pigeons because we have completely different weathers. They are 40 centimeters long and are found from Europe all the way to South Asia. Asia. Dr. Marv probably brought that one with him. Pigeons are timid and very sensitive to noise. If you get too close, they will sense you and fly away. Yet for all that, they are notoriously cottons. They feed mostly on grain. I got an idea. If you have some beans or potatoes, you can use them as bait. It's got a large order of fries myself. <laughs> I avoided that joke, but I... nope. Uh, Alright. Tough to find a burger standing out. On a battlefield, huh? Over and out. Fuck you, Jakobsen, but thank you for the info. You are way more useful than, than Miller. So, I have to wait for the pigeon to get closer. B2 units. Beans and meatballs and beans and franks and beef and potatoes. So, beans and potatoes. Beef, pork, ham, eggs, tuna fish, chocolate and crackers. So, I assume this is the useful one. How am I supposed to catch the pigeon? It landed, it stopped the flying. So... So I have to get close when it's on the floor? Or am I doing too much noise? Gadget! Huh? There is a piece of paper tied to the pigeon. Help! Wiz Ohio Kiyomarf. Wiz Ohio? 
Only the H is in lowercase. Some kind of message from Dr. Marv? What could it mean? Waste Ohio. I wonder if Campbell knows what the fuck this is. I'm changing the frequency for future communications. New frequency can be found on a... Fuck you, Campbell. Fuck you so much. Okay. Let's see who we can call for this. Maybe Miller this time? Uh, I, I know on... On Metal Gear Solid 1, Miller is the expert on animals. But on Peace Walker and Phantom Pain, Miller is a... Uh... Is the audio desyncing from itself? What the actual fuck? For some reason, my computer is lagging just by recording audio. Like, why? I think the my own voice is desyncing from left to right. What the hell? I have no sin nothing open. What the... No! Okay, whatever. Uh, uh, Miller is a... Fucking hell, how, how is it called? Uh, code specialist on, on Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, I think. So he probably... he was an Intel operative. So m probably he knows something? Yeah! It is the sinking left and side, uh, left and right side. Why? Solid Snake, come in. Can you help me? Where is Ohio? Only the H is in lowercase. Hmm. Got it. Must be a digital number. You see what I'm getting at, don't you, Snake? I ran out. A digital number. That doesn't help me. Try turning it. Oh, 0140. Sim. They are not letters, they are numbers. It is a clue. To Dr. Mar frequency. So, 0140.5. But look at it, only the H was in lower case. It's not a very clever code, almost as if someone is telling you to read it upside down. <laughs> Sir 140.51 Over and out. Uh, thank you, Miller. I, I noticed it by the end. <laughs> this is Snake, come in. That is Marv. Come on, Dilat. She may genom me. Delami posia zurve ukol vietiene. Why are you talking in fucking uh, the, the, the language they, they speak in Thailand? What's he saying? I can't understand a word. Better ask Magna. It looks like. Uh, it doesn't look Russian, it looks. Like, uh, the, the language they, they, they speak, the, the language is called Thai? Just Thai? T-H-I-A-I? Uh, Marv. Uh, oh. Marv can only speak Czech and Slovakian. He's also the worry type, and especially so in this current predicament. I can only speak Russian and English. I can only speak Russian and English. Wait, I've got it. Gustava can speak to him. Gustava? Is that the STV woman who was protecting you? She'll be able to understand him. And Marv trusts her as well. And someone is talking me on the phone, so... You better move your ass, Snake. 
Is this Gustavo? Is this Gustavo still alive? God damn it, I have to put it on silence. <laughs> not to worry, Gustavo is not an ordinary woman. She is a seasoned professional. And when I say professional, I mean soldier, not prostitute. Don't get any ideas, a snake. When we were captured, she alone managed to steal the enemy uniform and escape. No doubt, she's hiding somewhere inside Sansibarland. Waiting for her chance. Does she have a radio? No, it was taken away after we were captured. The only thing I know is that she is wearing an enemy uniform. There must be some kind of clue I can use. Here's your clue, she's a woman. <laughs> Don't be fooled by her enemy disguise, she's still a woman, the snake. There are no women soldiers in, the for in this fortress. Oh, come on. Big Boss had, uh, had sol uh, women soldier. But there are no soldier women in, the fo in this fortress. That's all you need to know, I think. They are all gay. Super gay. Gustavo is a woman. Why not set an abuse someplace that only a woman could go? Like the ladies' restroom. If there are no women in this base, why is there a ladies' restroom? It makes no sense. Over and out! Okay, man, uh, that was super helpful. Nuts. What the fuck is this building? What is this? Is this an entrance of some kind on the... On the rooftop? Doesn't seem I can blow it up. Okay, there are kids, and I remember that one of the kids saying something about a restroom on episode 11 or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we can find Gustava in there, but I don't remember how to get to those kids. I think they were on building one. Stupid traps. Damn it! Uh -huh. I always forget about that. Whew. For some reason, my computer seems to be lagging a lot. Uh, but it's out of sync in the audio. So I think it must be an update or something. Let, let me check it because it's driving me fucking nuts. Is it an update? Probably an, a Windows update, and that's why it's lagging. Because I, I don't really understand why it's lagging so much. Anyway, uh, this was fun. We made some progress. That, that is it. We made progress. Okay, now we have to find a woman called Gustava. Okay, the kids, I'm pretty sure the kids were on building one, so the... We either get through here and use the lower door that takes you to the front door and go through the deserts. Or we... Or we something. Fuck, am I going to be on time? Damn it. Okay. Yes. Front door. Have to be careful with the soldier coming from the left. Evasion. Uh, evasion. Uh, evasion. Ev evasion. Because I, I forgot how to fucking speak in English. No, wait, the desert was on the first game. Yeah, this is the singing sand, it's not the desert. Nope. 
Can you guys turn it around? So I can move. Come on, you mother fucking asshole. That was close. Closer than I like. Damn it, I should have gone through the other. Through the other truck. Damn it. Ammo. Ignore them. And get out. Okay. The alert should be lifted. Whew! I was mistaking the two buildings with the uh, first base on Outer Heaven. I was thinking about the desert between building 1 and building 2 on Outer Heaven, not Sansibarland. Sansibarland doesn't have a desert, it has this uh, singing sand part and the minefield, but it's not a desert per se. And then you have the... One thing I, I, I'm curious about is that... Can I go through the bottomless uh, swamp? And get through the door? Damn it. Can I go through the bottomless swamp? And... Damn it. Go to the right? Until you sink and then down again. Can I go through here and open the door that was to the left of uh, to the right of the kid on the lower right corner? Because that was a door that I couldn't open before. And now that I have had level 5 keycard, I might be able to do it. I have to lower the volume of the game, I'm getting fucking deaf. Okay, now it's down again, if I remember correctly. I was right, or... Yeah, it was a tiny bit right, down again, right again. some point here I have to go up. Nope. I have to go up at some point in here. Yeah, here. Damn it! Down? Yes. Is this a level 4? Yeah, it is a level 4. And where does this take me? To a place with a soldier and probably a pickup truck. Does this take you to... to the second building? Because I know you can get on cardboard boxes on the on the Metal Gear Solid 1 and that way you can... Oh, this is the truck that goes through the swamp. Get it now. And depending on the cardboard box you use an ordinary cardboard box according to the label it's bound for Sansibarland its use is unknown. And on, on Metal Gear... Okay, you're set to go. On Metal Gear uh, Solid 1, depending on the cardboard box you use when you get in a truck, they take you back to, uh, to, from building 1 to building 2 and all that. It's like a fast travel system. You absolute bastard! You took me back to building 2... That makes no fucking sense. There, I have no other way to get to the swamp. What is it, to avoid the desert? The desert is, is not that difficult. It's harder to get to the truck than to get to the desert. Although it's another way in. 
Oh my fucking god, I have to do all this again. And the higher number keycard I have is a level... Phew, that was close. A level 4, not a, not a level 5. Well, I have to do all this again, I guess. Ignore the soldiers. And as soon as it goes away... There. They didn't hear a thing. Now I just have to go through the stupid desert. Again. Desert between a lot of quotation marks. I wish there, w there was a way to go back to building one. Because there were tracks on building one. So... What was that noise? Come on guys, I don't have the whole fucking day. What was that noise? Can you look to your right, please? And now if you are... Would you kindly move, please? Come on, you assholes, move. And waiting games, again. You know what, fuck it, I'm risking the fucking alert, I don't care. Oh my god, that guy is absurdly blind. He didn't even fucking see me and I was in front of him, but he was so distracted by the noise of the sand that, that he didn't see a snake. I was like, I'm risking the alert. No, I didn't. Interesting. Interesting to see how useless those soldiers are. Man, they surely ran out of fucking budget for this super secret lair. Outer Heaven, meh, they, they had good soldiers, it was like the old days back in Mother Base, but man, this, this is not, not the brightest people. Level 3. I want to get more missiles if they have them. Sorry, you were on the way. Yeah, rockets. I don't know if I'm going to need them, but better to have them than to not. Better to have them and not need them, than to need them and not have them. And having to go all the way back. Come on, you are you going fucking down so I can kill you? Thank you. The tanks reminds me uh, remind me a lot of the tanks in in Metal Slug. World War II looking tanks. Okay, is this the green beret or is this the red beret? It is the green beret. I don't need to follow you anymore. Okay. Where do I need or have to go? I'm probably able to open this door now. You please go to the other side. I want to shoot you. Or go down the stairs. That, that works too. It's not a level... It's a level 3. Pick a pick red card? 
A master card that replaces card 1 through 3? Yes! Yes, I don't have to fucking change cards anymore. And obviously it doesn't work on, on, on those two doors. Can I use the level 4 card? No, not on this door. And not on this door. That is a thing also that uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 had because it's an improvement, obviously, and and you want improvements to stay, don't you? You don't want uh, improvements to go away. Dust. Dust. Fuck. Yeah, that was a mistake. I'm on the trash compactor. Damn it. I don't want to end there. Uh, the good thing is as long as I keep the red card equipped, I don't have a lot of trouble going from one place to another. And we are on the elevators, which is what we wanted, but still... Damn it. Well, time to find Gustava on the, next, on the next episode. Sorry, lads. I have to leave it here. It's been half an hour already and I have to stop recording and put it on the computer. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you on the next one. I'm doing also streams and if you want to know when I stream or when I upload any video, you can subscribe if you want to, you can leave comments if you want to, it will be nice. And you can follow me on the social media that you can find on the description down below to know when I'm going to stream or when I'm going to upload videos. So do whatever you want, suit yourself, and I hope I will see you on the next video. But until then, see ya!